Welcome to this long awaited building video. Today I'm gonna show you how to build the Red Cave 2x1 bunker. Start off two square foundations, one triangle, two raised triangle foundations. This is gonna be the entrance into the bunker. Make sure you make this a half wall because this is gonna be double roofed. When you have one wall, like one fat wall right here, people can blow into the first roof and then soft side into the bunker from here. So always make sure this is a half wall. Also early wipe, make sure you upgrade these two. These two foundations are very crucial to not get soft sided when they get one door deep or whatever. Alright. This is usually how I start off the base. You can place these in, in whatever direction you like. really matter from here on three triangles on all sides anchor always also an early wipe make sure you close up your bunker with foundations from the outside otherwise it's very easy to read what design this is just go around Build them squares. Always make sure you raise these foundations. Otherwise it wouldn't make sense. You would just waste resources. Add honeycomb to both sides. So this one. Now we come to building in the entrance towards bunker. It's always important that you close off this area. Like I wouldn't suggest you making a way up right there. Makes your base rating cost way cheaper. This area right here is for drop boxes. And leave it out if you don't have that many people in your team and you don't need that much space. on both sides we place these boxes right here for some extra storage early wipe because the bunker doesn't have that much room you can add a triangle right here but I just forgot it you can fit at least five boxes in this room and then usually tier three or tier two and backs right here furnaces We usually use furnaces as jump ups as well. Makes things easier. Right up here is your spot where you can make loot rooms. Four boxes each. And then you can also make these, these triangle spots right here, your battery spots. They're pretty well well protected and raiders usually don't go this way
Okay. Now that we built third floor. Start building the inner peaks. I would advise you not to build your doorway like right here because this is where the outer TC will connect and you can't build an airlock. So just go over the door right here or right here. Doesn't really matter. now we come to the outer thesis when you have finished the first walls of your inner peaks you should definitely start building your outer thesis otherwise you will get griefed pretty surely one two three four five six seven eight triangle Triangle back to the base, demolishing all the triangles. Then you go five out. Two, three, four, five. Go double triangle. Now we build the disconnectable outer thesis. Make sure you make two half walls, otherwise the stability will fuck you up. Outer TC. We like to window them because it's just easier to make them more expensive to rate then you go like this one frame right here one frame right here depending on if you want to make this an entrance or not for our case it's gonna be just a wall frames and you destroy this this is your disconnectable TC, you can destroy these foundations as well, they don't matter. If you did it right, you put a window right here, a roof I mean, and then it should destroy your TC. Pretty simple and good way to disconnect your TCs. You get raided and they destroy your main TC. You don't need to go through the process of destroying all these tool cupboards, it's, it's very good. Now we just do this on all four sides. I'll be back in a sec. Uh, just a little heads up. When you do the bunker side where you did the honeycomb, if you want to make it similar on the other side, you definitely need to add three triangles as well. All right. Now, if you've done it right, you should have four TCs looking like this. It's of course customizable where you want to put your entrances, but I like to do two on the sides where the bunker is and on the opposite side. Be simple entrance. Two double doors, make sure you put them the one facing inwards, the other one facing outwards, creating an airlock when you open both. Now to the inner peaks. The inner peaks are not that fancy, but they're very useful. Just this little extra bit of peaks that make your base defendable. What I like to do is when I have built in the inner peaks, 
can go like this. This on opposite sides. See this, this triangle and this square, it's the perfect way or the perfect room for double bed locker. Depends on how many people you are, you can do this two times. So four beds, two lockers. You always gotta make sure when you build these peaks that you put in frames and double doors in the frames or like single door frames and then single doors of course because these peaks are then so tiny that people can't get through them very good when people are in your inner peaks and try to let up to the roof the squares for the outer peaks nothing too fancy this point out it's very much customizable the way you like it okay now that we built the windows and the door frames we start on working on our way up to the roof For this particular jump up I like to have the triangle because it makes it more difficult to pass a shotgun trap when you have one. You can also add a handy garage up here, which I definitely would suggest. And of course, a full side of windows. As already said, the roof is very much customizable the way you want it. You can add vending machines, these rooftops with better peaks down. Let me just finish the base and I'll show you what it costs. So I just finished decorating the base almost and upgrading all the doors, adding all the doors. And now we are here for the upgrades, how you should upgrade the space, of course. For fully armored. You can leave this triangle, whatever you want, it, it doesn't matter. Also, this corner should be upgraded. This can stay middle. Pulls people into thinking it's just one floor and then they start to raid into the double floor. I've seen that often. You can also add a shotgun trap right here. I love to do this. It saved me so many raids. People with shit jumping down here and it's just disgusting to get rid of the shotgun trap. But on, all this should be metal. All inner ring should be metal for sure. The 
going here and there's your loot rooms. You should definitely arm all this. Definitely, definitely armored. It doesn't cost that much and it's very good against top down. This should be completely armored if you can. Can afford it. Not metal is also fine. Also very important to upgrade these to metal. This Controlling your inner peaks from the top is very important and four rockets to inner peaks is just not enough. The outer peaks should be also metal. I would say stone is definitely fine for the walls but you should at least make the roof completely metal especially since the new update with the MLIs right that should be it now that we upgraded the whole base to what we wanted it to be take a look at the upkeep not even that bad, 14k stone, 7k metal, 200 HK. I would say that's pretty sustainable as a solo or duo. Now a little look at the other theses. They're all the same, so it should be upkeep. Almost the same, 380 in this one. Then the one with an entrance. 600 and 100 metal there you have it the 2x1 bunker for disconnectable externals red cave one thing you should definitely do if you can afford it which i just didn't do yet is add a honeycomb to this side on these triangles and this side for sure because it makes your bunker way more expensive but it's just, it's not a must. Without the, ex the honeycomb, it's still 32 rockets to core. And since you have split up your loot in loot rooms up here and one below, it's gonna be very costly to get all your shit. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if so, make sure to like the video. See you later, boys.